nerve-wracking when it says going live. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, we're live, dude. Okay, good. I'm glad. It, no, go back. Wait, how do I do this? You, I don't want to. I don't want to see my face. Oh, at the bottom, the bottom corner, the bottom right-hand corner. You can press on me. You only have a choice okay. of using me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, cool. So we should time ourselves too. Look, I'm gonna put a timer on my phone. Yeah. Fifteen minutes. I think that's enough. See. Oh, yeah, there's there's people watching. It says stream six minutes. Really? Yeah. It says live now, too, on YouTube. Clearly, this is our first time doing this. That's creepy. Yeah, it's creepy. I got it on my phone right here trying to figure out if we're doing it right. Okay, so, so we want 15 minutes. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, so, sorry, I, I have to just launch in because I, I've been, like, dying to tell you this. Okay. Oh, wait, actually, actually, I first. Think we should I think first. Go ahead, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, I think we should first talk about our weekend because that basically led to all this other stuff that I'm going to tell you. Okay, which was completely my fault, our weekend, apparently. No, 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 it wasn't your fault. I had a great time, but, like, Friday night, like, you got here Friday night, right? Yeah, and then we went straight to sushi, and we we had, we, we shared two large sakis. Yes. And that was just, like, the warm-up. Yeah, that was just like to make sure we still knew how to drink. Yeah, and then we went to Corner Door. Yeah, which I like that place. That's the place you always take me when I come visit. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. I like that place too. But it's like sometimes it's a little creepy because it's like they know my name. Like, remember when we were there before we left, the guy's like, yo, what's up? And he like gave me a little fist bump. Yeah. Oh, I, I was just watching your other one to make sure. Yeah, no, I I like it there, but I don't know. That's like cheers, though, dude. I think that's cool that they know your name. Unless you're going to go there and embarrass yourself, I think it's all right. I don't think I ever have, but it's highly possible. So, anyway, then we went to um, – where did Dance. we go? No, that, we went – That's the point we where went I like, fall off in my memory. Yeah. No, we went <laughs> – so what happened was I flew in, you picked me up from the airport, we went straight to Kai Sushi, which is my favorite place in Venice area to eat sushi. Then we went and we had to go to the store. Then we went back to your house. Then we were like, all right, it's time to Uber so that there's no drinking and driving because that's bad. Well, my and we went, rule is that we don't say my boyfriend's name because, you know, he's I know. anonymous. That's my only I got you. Name. I got you. That's why I, uh, that's why I omitted that. <laughs> <laughs> omit <laughs> but there is a boyfriend so you, you gotta know. be careful when it's live man i know dude you gotta watch those f bombs slippity too. slip yep that's <laughs> all right there's no editing allowed but it's all good so then we went to corner door then we went is that fl oh i almost got i almost called him flash damn again you. Damn, damn you damn you I'm sorry the, J the daily jack um then we went we went to corner door and then we got in a cab and we decided to go to Larry's. And I think your quote was, it was like 1030 at night and your quote was, guys, I'm peeking. Guys, I got like one more drink to me. I'm totally peeking. 1030 no, at night. It's true. Like when I get to that point, that's why I always say like I have to dance or I'm going to fall asleep. Because if I'm like super drunk, I either like pass out or I have to dance. I have to dance it out. Pass out or dance it out, basically. And so that's what I meant by peaking. Like, if you want me to keep going, you got to, like, you got to take me somewhere fun. You can't be feeding me pizza because this is, like, <sighs> good night. Right. Yeah. No, I hear you. I, I think I, I thought when you said you were peaking that I was, like, oh, man, she's going to go home and go to bed. And I'm the one that's been up since 5 a.m. traveled. They, this is not okay. So we went to Larry's, and then we had some food. Right. We, had, we ate again. We basically ate dinner again. Yeah. And some drinks. A hobbit. Second, second dinner. Like a hobbit. Second dinner. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and then we went to Townhouse, and that's when the dancing began. And we had a special guest. That was actually really cool. We totally had a special yeah. guest. Someone that, one of our friends that, you know, sometimes you can't stand all the social media and stuff, but, like, the fact that we posted a picture on social media and he commented, where are you guys at? We didn't say it that nicely. That's true. But he I'm commented on it. And then he showed up, which was awesome because he was actually. And then at about 
145, we finished dancing a little tipsy and found an Uber back to your house. Is that kind of how it went down? Yeah, and I felt yeah. so much better after. I mean, I, I, I was wasted enough to not realize that everyone there was at least 10 years younger than us. Do you know what I mean? Because, like, sometimes I, I didn't realize that until you just said it. <laughs> well, I don't think you think that way, but I do. Like, I walk in here and I go, yeah, I belonged in here. 10 years ago, but like I've totally aged out of this scene. But like I can sort of like get around that because I just walk to the front of the dance floor and start dancing and then like it's all good. Then I'm not thinking about all that stuff. But if I'm like sober and I'm looking around, I'm like, oh man, who let the moms out? You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's freaking embarrassing. It's so who embarrassing. Let the I'm like, I used to be a break dancer. I used to be a hip hop dancer, and meanwhile they're like, "Dude, go home." <laughs> <laughs> no, so so that was night one. Yes, and then day two started. You knew we were in for it when day two started with us having In and Out for breakfast, <laughs> which I was just craving because we don't have In and Out here, so it's kind of like. There's a few staples. Once you move out of Los Angeles, Venice specifically, you yeah. realize there's a few staples that like you don't have. So it's like you get home and you make a list, and you're like, I gotta go to Kaya, I gotta go to In and Out, I gotta go here. So I'm pretty sure it was just eleven or a little bit before it, and we were shoving off face with In and Out already. I'm pretty sure they just barely opened. Yeah. You know what I'm gonna say? Um, I feel like Taco Bell. Did, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but did Taco Bell used to be in New York like a really long time ago, or is that like? Because I, I, I kind of remember being in school and being like, fuck, I miss Taco Bell and I miss in and out But is it just because Taco Bell like, wasn't down the street from me? Or is it because New York didn't have Taco Bell? I don't think there's Taco Bell in the city, but there's definitely Taco Bell in Long Island where I grew up. There are For some sure. Taco Bells in the city now, but I'm just saying, like, has it always... I don't know. I just don't remember there being a lot of Taco Bells. I remember there being a lot of Wendy's, which I was very excited about. Yeah, Wendy's is the shit. But um, no, I, I think you're right. I don't think, you know, honestly, I can't even remember ever eating Taco Bell in the city in my life. And there's many moments that if it was there, I probably would have. Yeah. So that's, yeah. Um, that's a good point. So my memory served me correct. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So wait, so that it doesn't even end there. I guess we should tell the whole story because I don't know. Oh, no. That's not even like the beginning. That's no, like. No. Right. <laughs> so then. So then we, so then me, you, and and our friend, um, Spragalicious, we went to the Whaler. We went to the Whaler, and that bartender was so good because I was like not wanting to drink anymore. And do you remember that like really good cocktail that I had you taste? It kind of tastes like, like a, I don't know. It was know. pink. It was a pink. It kind of tastes like orange juice, but better, like guava juice or something. I don't know. It's just freaking delicious. And I don't even like cocktails. You know, I like wine. Right. So that was amazing. And then someone was like, we should do shots. Was not me. And that was not me either. No, it wasn't me either. But you and I both part of I'm not going to lie. I think I was drunk by 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday again. You were. I remember I kept trying to, like, hold it down because I knew that we had to go to that birthday party later. And I was like, dude. Like, she's going to kill me if I don't show up. And I know that I can't last that long, again, without dancing. So <laughs> I was, like, trying to take it easy, but it was still so fun. Yeah. No, it was really fun. You sent me just wasted when you were looking for a, a sweatshirt, and I was Dude. at the Danny's or whatever. That was Dude, hilarious. I literally I, – what I remember is – and not that I was, like, a belligerent drunk, but what I remember is we all went to Danny's because we wanted food – I was very drunk, intoxicated at this point in time, and I um, I ordered like chicken fingers and fries. But for some reason, I wanted a Venice Beach sweatshirt, like a hoodie. I just wanted a hoodie. Oh yeah, did you get one by the way? No, I never found a hoodie. But I walked so far down the boardwalk, and I knew it was time to turn around. Like I'm so glad you texted me because I was in a store all by myself, just looking. I was like, where am I? And then it's really. <laughs> It's really fun, but really dangerous and not something I recommend to walk down Venice Boardwalk drunk by yourself. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. 
No, because I was kind of walking upstream, so everywhere I went, I kind of felt like I just <laughs> thought, I was like, what's happening? Where are my friends? And then I got back there and got some, and it's because I didn't eat either. Because you guys both ate at the Whaler. I didn't eat, remember? Because I thought we were going to go to Hanano and get the Hanano burger, which is another staple that I wanted, but I never got. So I thought that I was going to eat. Stop rubbing it in. I know. I thought that I was going to eat, and then I didn't. So I think that's where I completely went wrong for that one. Um, right. But yeah, and then it wound up being like 6, 7 o'clock by the time we left. Danny. Danny's to go back to your house to get ready for the party, which I tapped out of early. And then you tapped out. I but tapped I out at like 10.30 of the party. I was like, I got to go home. But can I just say the main reason that I had to like be on point is because I had made up a dance for that person's birthday party, and I thought that I was going to have to teach 50 or so people how to do the dance, Then it turns out we never did it. So I could have gotten drunk with you. I mean, not yeah. to say I didn't get drunk, but I definitely was, like, maintaining <laughs> the whole day. No, for sure. You were, we were at a completely different level. <laughs> Like it was like it wasn't even like we were saying, you're sober. I hate you. Say? She was going like this. You're way too sober. Like, oh my god, it's so funny. Um, so pretty much those two nights led to uh, what you said was time to stop drinking for a minute. Yeah. So I started my no drinking for thirty days. How's that going? It's actually not as bad as I <laughs> thought it was going to be, but I, because <laughs> I'm a dumbass, I also decided to do no bread, like no carbs, no pasta, no anything at the same time. So I basically just cut sugar right out of my diet. So I'm like super agitated. So like years ago, okay, my first trainer was Jillian Michaels, which I think I've told you before. Right, totally. And... I, well, I was much younger, but I looked so good. And that was the diet that she put me on. Um, but it was also like run for 45 minutes um, after you have your coffee. And of course, your coffee can't have any cream or any milk in it at all. It's just like black coffee and then run for 45 minutes and no sugar, no, al no alcohol, no, no bread. And I looked amazing. So I'm trying to do that. So right now, you see, I'm eating... I'm eating sushi, but it has brown rice on it. So I allow myself to have like a little bit of brown rice per day because I think if I didn't, I don't know. I don't know if I'd have my brain. <laughs> I don't know if I could think, you know? Dude, I'm just very jealous that you're eating sushi while we talk. I know, it's so good. Yeah. Fresh in the box. Ooh. Oh, hi. Oh, is this a Jack guy? He wants to say hi. Oh, hey, Jack. Oh, hey. Hi, Jack. Hey, girl, hey. That's Stella. She's saying hello to you. No, you can't have my sushi. Bye. Okay. So anyway, that wasn't even what I was <coughs> wanting to tell you. Um, so the main thing is that I decided to use these cleansing foot pads. I have to put my food away because I'm going to throw up if I tell you the story when my food's up. So, cleansing foot pads? Did I hear you correctly? Yeah, okay, so it's like a Chinese herb thing. This is what I've been dying to tell you. And basically, it looks like a tea bag that's like, that's like this big. And then it comes with this adhesive. But the adhesive smells like a pile of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then you put it on the bottom of your foot and you sleep like that. Like you put socks over them so that your feet don't... um. Or so, so that your feet warm up. So basically, so your feet get sweaty. And so you sweat out, supposedly, all the toxins in your body. So Come in on. the morning. <laughs> Come on, dude. Are you serious? <laughs> We're stuck calling you sweaty feet McCullough, so dude. In the morning. Do you have one of these things? Why are you not showing me what it helps? Okay, hold on, like? hold on, hold on. Yeah, put this thing to your foot, dude. Come on. <laughs> Who thinks of this? Let me put a tea bag on your foot, sleep like that, and you're gonna wake up feeling fresh. Come on. Okay, hold on. Okay, look. I'm holding. No, you're gonna you make fun you make fun now, but you're gonna wanna go and order these off Amazon. Can you see? No, Jack, no. Those were in your house when I was there. Yeah. <clears throat> I okay. saw that. 
not it. He thinks everything's a treat. Yeah. I mean, it, it's like you open the bag and it smells. Okay, so. <laughs> you are ridiculous. <laughs> So here's the adhesive thing, and you basically like peel it off, and then here's the little bag, and you put it like this, and then you put them on the bottom of your, can you see? Like that. Yeah, it's like a foot warmer, but not. Yeah. Okay, so then, in the morning I got up, and my mom had told me about it, so she's like, you're supposed to use them for five days, and then every day, you can see the discharge. Yes, I said discharge. And so, oh. it is the most disgusting it's it's like it's like a skunk and a raccoon like got in a blender together and then pissed all over each other and then shit each other out. <laughs> <laughs> it is so disgusting. Uh oh, our time is up. No, we we'll keep going. So anyway, I, I've done it three days in a row now, and it's supposed to like your discharge or whatever is supposed to get less and less, but my shit's the same. So I think that it's because of my debaucherous weekend with you. Right. Or this is all just a hoax. And, and it just changes color over the night. <laughs> yeah, basically all the smelly shit is just in there and it just seeps out. So I'd like is it, to know. Is it wet when you wake up? Like what is, are you... I can't, if I visualize it, I'll puke right now. Like, it's that bad. But just tell me, is it wet? You yeah, feel wet? I can't. <laughs> it's like wet and green and gooey. Come on, dude. Like, I'm seriously, I'm getting, like, dizzy right now, thinking about it. It's what so if you put it on, like, what if you put it on your ears? On your what? Be, like, you, what if you put them on your ears when you <laughs> And all the wax comes out. Like I think, like this should this should be a part of like, would you rather? Like, would you rather lick the discharge from my oh, feet dude. or eat a pile of poo? <laughs> dude, that's disgusting. But how does it come out? So it just comes out the pores of your feet. Who yes. knew? Who knew you had such big? Like I wouldn't have thought you. I'm very, I'm toxic. I'm toxic. I've lived in LA my entire really? life. Go do you feel it. weird? What? Do you, uh, maybe that's, that's why. Do you feel weird? Like, do you, does it feel weird to like step on your feet in the morning? No, you just wash your feet after, but I don't know. I, I just, I want, I would like you to try it. <laughs> Tell me Personally. what comes out. I would like to compare after photos with you. Let's see who is more toxic. That's, uh, <laughs> that's what I'm getting at. You I'm down for that. Toxic. Wait, but then if we're gonna do that, you gotta stop because you're already draining the toxicity. <coughs> I gotta get some then. Cause you've got three yeah. days drained. And I'm working out a lot too and I'm not drinking any alcohol, so. I'm definitely, dude, it's football season started today. I'm gonna be drinking alcohol. Yeah, you are. But I'll do it. I'll 100% do it. Because I feel like, I don't know, maybe you're right. Maybe the air, like the air where I live is probably way better than the air is there. Absolutely. I mean, talk about, like, you You look great. Not that you didn't before. But you look so much better than you did when you were living here. And I know, like, a lot of that is because of how active you are and how you go to the lake all the time. and Right. Like, you're outside. You're, like, doing stuff. And it's, like, easier to do stuff. But I know, because you've always eat eaten eaten yeah you've always eaten healthy and like I've always been kind of jealous even though I make fun of you like I get jealous of that because of the way you eat because it's so plain that like that's how like every diet tells you to eat like how you eat normally like how you like to eat yeah <laughs> you know or everyone else is like oh my god I can't put gravy on it you'd be like I don't want the gravy you know what I mean totally no well, dude I'm totally down for that challenge all right I'll send you some. I think I can order them on Amazon. All right, send me some. And um, I had a funny story to tell you if you want to keep going, unless we want to start a new one. No, go. go. I just have to leave and, like, I got to drive to Hollywood. Ugh. That sucks, dude. I'm going to drive to the lake. What? Um, <laughs> so, dude, I have a question for you. And yeah. you don't have to tell me the answer, but if I actually.
She Jaw size. Do you know the answer? Wait, what? You, if you I know? asked you, do you know your bra size? Do you know the answer? I think so. You think so or you know so? Because apparently I didn't. And I needed to go bra shopping yesterday. Really? Yeah, I didn't know. I had a, I went bra shopping yesterday because I have a wedding to go to on Saturday. Oh, my God, dude. Just let me tell you, I pulled a classic Steph Z move. So I went to Victoria's Secrets, and I literally asked the lady, like, walked in there perplexed. I'm sure you could visualize me, like, what do I do here? And yeah. I was just like, I was like, um, I, I think I need help. I'm like, I don't really know my bra size. I don't know when the last time I bought bras was. I'm that girl that, like, right. finds yeah. a bra and buys, like, three of the same one and then last keeps them until they, like, fall apart. So I have them for years. That's what I was going to say is, like, the first time you buy a bra, that's the size that you remember yourself having, but that changes over time. Exactly. Yeah. So what I did is she's like, oh, that's no problem. We can measure you. So I go into the dressing room. And she follows me. She follows me did into you the dressing your bra? Were you like, woo? Men Tried to get naked. 100% was going to get naked. And she was just standing there. And I'm like, I don't need to get naked, do I? And she was like, nope, we can measure you over your clothes. There was me oh trying to get naked. It was hilarious, dude. So I was embarrassed, and then I was literally there for, like, over an hour trying to figure it out. Because, first of all, she tried to tell me my bra size was tell not me. what I – What? Divulge. Divulge. She tried to tell me I was a 34D. No D. way. What? A D. a D. And I was like, well, number one, I've always worn 36, so maybe, like, it's because – You've gotten skinnier, though. You've lost right. weight. So, so yeah, so 30, like, but my boobs haven't, I guess. So, and now when you're, when you're smaller. Bro, you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. So funny. But I wouldn't do it. I was like, no, no, no. We should try a 34C. No, no, no. Like the D, like I just can't in my head have a D boob because that makes me feel like I have these freaking melons, which I don't. Like I have a good size boob. Don't get me wrong. But like. I don't know. I feel like, like, I know you couldn't see when I did that, but it was so funny, dude. If you would have been there, you would have been cracking up. Cause there I was just by myself, just with this lady who I had started calling the boob master and everyone in the place started calling her the boob master now. And I was literally there trying on bras for like an hour, like, nope. And she would come in the dressing room with me and she'd just be like staring at my boobs in the mirror. And it was just... It was That's hilarious. Amazing. Why didn't you video that? That's hilarious. I should have. I totally should have. But it was really, really, it was, it was really. What funny. I want to know is like the boob master, was she, was she like a good character? Like was she super serious about her she, job? She was, she wasn't too serious and she knew that I was, I mean, not many things embarrassed me. And it's not, I don't think that I was embarrassed, but I think I was more so like, this is a little awkward. I think there's yeah. a slight different, like, because it's their job. But I just felt like I didn't know what to do. So let me make it fun so that it's not as awkward, I guess. Yeah. And I just kept pushing a little button. There was, like, a button for them to come back. And then I was just like, can you just stay close? Like, which then seemed really awkward. But she just kept coming back. And she was just like, no, no. And we would, like, compare. And she was like, I think that one's better. Mm, I don't know. That one looks like it's cut in here. Like, she was really good at her job. Well, I was going to say that, like, that's what always confuses me is, like, the shape of the cup. Like, some of them, like, you know the, um, what do I call it? It's, like, your, my underarm, underarm fat? Like, yeah, I got them. Remember, yeah, like, at GH, I used to, because now I can, like, look and, like, look at the bra and be like, oh, that's going to accentuate my underarm fat. But, like, took me a while to get there, you know? And, like, literally, they would, like, hang my clothes for the day and there would be, like, the kind of cup that kind of like goes in on the side. I'd be like, uh, uh, mm -mm, go back. I like the ones that like hold the whole thing in, you know, because I've always had like little pudgy like right here, you know. That's my right. Memory. But yeah, but like <clears throat> all of like the shapes are really important too. Yeah. The shapes and also the way the straps go, and then it's like you want to see what, what I got. What dress are you wearing? Yeah. Okay. Dude, you. <laughs> You totally just flashed your butt crack as you got up and lost weight. The same. That's right. That happens. So, All right, so here's my Victoria's Secret video. Seven viewers saw your, your butt crack. How many? Seven? Yeah. I'm going to get that. I want to get more viewers if you just showed your butt crack every time. Okay. So this was like the winning bra. Look at this thing. 
Dude, that is, is it a D or a C? That's, that is huge. Yeah, no, C. It's big, right? And this is C too. I'll never know what that looks like on my body. Well, they're pretty. 34 C. What are you wearing? What do you mean, what am I wearing? Over that, over your bra. It's a wedding. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am wearing a, one of my, not the black tank that was my go-to that has like the open back, yeah. uh, a different tank that the bottom is slanted and there's holes in the back and I have these dope pants, these like, um, you've seen them. They're my pants that end like midway shin and then I have my black boots on the bottom. It's a, it's a Wisconsin wedding that's outside. That I what'd you say? Where's the wedding? In Wisconsin, it oh, like thirty man. minutes away from where I live, outside, and it's not as dressy as LA weddings will be. Which next week I'll tell you all about my first Wisconsin wedding and what happens there because apparently it's different. Apparently they get married at like two in the afternoon and then the dinner is at six, so people just drink in between. There's lots of drinking here in Wisconsin. Right, which is why I said I can't come visit you for the next month because I have to be dry as a bone. Yeah. Hey, I'm just looking at my Twitter. People said they can't find it. So I'm just going to say that, you know, this is our first time and I'll we'll yeah, send, send a link or something. Copy so the, the people that are watching, maybe if they're watching, leave us a comment on how I you found it. it. Yeah, that's a good idea. So if you guys could do that, any of you guys that are watching, leave us a link. Uh, I mean, a comment on how you found it. That's a good idea. Um, oh, Steph, this was fun. This is super fun. Love you. I'm trying to think if there was anything. Oh, sorry. I, I have to, like, tell you this because it's really funny. Okay. So I'm I, was looking, I was looking on my Twitter because, okay, well, you know how I'm, like, writing my book and stuff? I'm trying to see like what kind of people follow me and like, I don't know. I'm just trying to see like what people are interested in, you know, online. Anyway, I've never looked at my verified followers. Have you ever done that? No. Well, you know, I'm people kidding. that are like verified on Twitter. Yeah, you're verified. Right. So I looked at my yeah. verified Twitter, Twitter followers and Margaret Cho and MC Hammer are both following me. Wait, who? Mark who? Margaret Cho and MC yes. Hammer. Dude, that's <laughs> kind of like, dude, you know you yeah, made it when MC Hammer's following you. Like, that's like a phone drop. That's, that's like, boom. Boom, ski. Yeah. That's like so cool. That's like cooler than like Brad Pitt following me or something. Whole way cooler. Not that, you know, we wouldn't want, you know, Brad to follow us and join the conversation one day. But, yeah, no, that's totally. I'd like, I'd like him to join the conversation. I know, you would. Anyways, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I was really stoked about that. I was like, wow, this is actually, not that, it, not that it means anything. The only thing it means is that maybe they watched General Hospital. Dude, the most random people in the world watch General Hospital. Right, and that's what's funny and great about it is, like, there's all these undercover fans, you know? Yeah. So, anyway, let's, um, let's do this again, our, our, standing, our standing Thursday date. It's our standing Thursday date. And also, I know that you think it's going to be tough to come visit me on this cleanse. So, either A, you have to come anyway, or B, the day that you get off this cleanse, the next day you fly on a plane to come visit. I'm flying on a plane to Hawaii the next day. I know. I know. I know. I know. I suck. I know. Love you mean it. Okay. But I'll come soon. All right. Okay. I gotta. I actually have to go because I have to get in the car. All right, dude. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Love you too. Bye. Peace.